Hello everyone, welcome to the How to Make Blah 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 series. During this series, I'll go through different models that are commonly seen in robot games and make sure you'll be able to make and use them in yours as well. Before we start, please subscribe and turn on notification if you haven't yet, and please leave a like and share to your friends. Today, we are going to make something that's extremely common. According to my magic ball, this thing exists in 85.6% of all Roblox games, and I'm pretty sure all of you have encountered them, not just once, but thousands of times. As a pair, you might not necessarily love them, but as the future best step of the world, you are going to use them in your game in all sorts of different forms. <coughs> You can probably tell from the title of the video we are going to talk about cube break today. After we make a cube break, we will also talk about how to make a damage break, which instead of killing a character who touch it, it damages the character by reducing the character HP. So first of all, we are going to rename this part as cube break, and then we are going to put a script into it, and we can change the name of the script to kill. And then we're gonna take out this hello world thing and start putting script parent dot touched. So whenever it's touched, connect a function and we can hit. And what's inside this function gonna be the condition of whenever this brick get touched, what will happen? So if whatever touch it and whatever touch it has a parent. And that parent has a child. First child. That child is a humanoid. And do something. That something is building the character. by changing the health of the character to zero. After we put those in, and now we can test. There we go. Touch the block and break into pieces. Now what if you don't want the brick to kill the pair, but taking off the pair's HP instead? The answer is really simple. Instead of changing the humanoid health to zero, you can make it take off certain amount instead. Um, so we're gonna stop this. We sort of duplicate this cube brick and we change the name to Let's say damage break. And the script instead of kill, we change the name to damage. And in the script, there's a couple more variables we need to consider. First of all, um, how much damage you're going to put in. So we're going to put a variable of damage. Let's say it's 20 HP. Um, we need something called interval, like how often this brick gonna deduct HP from the character, let's say one second. You also need something called debunks, um, no code, debunks, go parsing. Um, what debunks do, I'll show you uh, after we complete this. So after that, we still need to make some modification of this uh, connect function below we're gonna change we're gonna add the debounce and interval in it so if debounce equal boss then debounce change to true oh, not this and then we're gonna copy this here and instead of changing the humanoid help zero we can uh, minus the damage point. 
and then after that we're gonna wait the interval we put in and then we're gonna change the bounds back to false we can try run it after and we'll see this one is the damage break let's see what happens so instead of um, killing my character is actually taking damage consistently there we go now I can show you what happens if I don't put a debounce in here uh, let's say we're gonna take out this debounce thing and you run it and see what happens So without debunk, it won't wait the interval, it just instantly queuing. Damage Brick can have a lot of different applications in your world as well. You can add it to weapon, bullets, arrows, traps, and magic AOE. Again, the only limitation is your own imagination. There is also another way to manage all the queue breaks using something called collection surface in Roblox. I will make a separate video to explain collection service in the future. But however, in my own opinion, collection service is not needed unless your game is super super big with a lot of queue breaks to manage. Otherwise, you are totally fine without using that. This is all we're gonna cover today, and I will see you guys next time.